headed out past the slaughter ranch to another ranch. Beautiful spread out here, thousands of acres. And they have a watering trough for cows, horses and whatnot. Out in the middle of nowhere, speaking of cows, they have a 10,000 gallon tank that is raised up actually and so it's is unusual because but that's where some uh, fittings are plumbing and whatnot underneath there I guess they sent pictures of it and it's going to be an interesting bee removal because these bees have been there for 10 or 15 years and it, from what I can tell it's only about a foot space but this is a 12 foot diameter 10,000 gallon tank sitting on its end so and the bees are so bad the cows can't get near the tank now Said there's only two cows brave enough to venture up there, and I don't know if they're brave or stupid. So we're gonna tape up because we're too full. We're just northeast, south, and west of Bumfuck. And if you look over here to your left, this is what happened to the last person that didn't follow the directions. So uh, we're gonna learn from their experience. I tell you right now, ain't help ain't coming. No, help ain't coming. Yep. Yeah, we're too far out in the middle of Unless you consider getting licked by a cow passing by. See, if they hill. raised hogs out here, it would be, you know, large country, but no, it's just yeah. large country. Or it would be hog heaven, either one. Hog heaven. Well, yeah, they've got nowhere else to go here. I heard that. Lord almighty. Well, let's get taped up. Get your suit on there, honey. Get your cow. Praise the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like all propolis right there. Look at that shiny. Oh wow. That whole thing is propolis. So you got a door right there, mm -hmm. a couple of doors there, doors there. This is the main door. And this is one big ass here. fucking hive, huh? They know we're here. Yeah they do. Boy, they nothing like what's gonna happen in a minute. That's for sure. So uh anything that gets laid in the path of walking should be moved. So there ain't no tripping over shit. Alright, well, look at them how they're coming out now.
This is pure flat out evil. Yeah. This is pure flat out evil. Oh, look at that stinger. Where? What? What? Lucky gal. Oh, no, of course, way back in there, I gotta get to the height. Yeah. A little bit of adrenaline. <laughs> Do you want to lay under there and see? Spanning Clonico is oozing out. Oh, it goes down. in. Oh, it goes down so far. Amazing. Yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. This is where Reed has been sticking his hand blindly. one in my glove. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's survival is what it is. Alright, huh? A couple more back there. There's a valve there. This is to my face. Okay. And want... of course my goggles fell off. They always do. Oh. I never use them. So. Um, there yeah, pain in the ass, right? <laughs> I'm going to pull some more crap out of there just because the flesh. I just like to discourage this, just piss off at him, that's why. Just a minute? Yep. Damn glasses. I mean, well. I know. We're trying. Oh, yeah. Well, this is just impossible. There is no rule book for this shit. That's a good jump. Hopefully, I'm getting to the end of it. I hope, I hope, I hope. Well, it looks a little natural, but it's still broken. And it's all pollen-y and shit, so it'll make great Viking honey. Viking honey! You can only get it in Bisbee. But you can go online, killerbeeguy.com, get all the other crap. Gosh. Oh, it make all the it's kind of fun, actually. If you look through it. I don't know, honey, these days at the office. This cubicle's a little small, but the view is nice. Yeah, our view sucks, but, you know. Oh, no, it's a corner yeah. office. It's a corner office, orifice. It's Kochi's Corner Cor office. Kochi's Corner. As in mortician. Ha, <laughs> ha, get it? Now, that was fucking funny. I am a funny motherfucker when I'm dying. So did I tell you about when I got my vasectomy, honey? <laughs> Tell me about your vasectomy. Ah, I thought you'd never ask. So, I'm on the... All I know is I get the benefits. So, uh, yeah. Well, me too, actually. It's mutual. So this is post-vasectomy, actually, and I was having a heart attack. And I got the helicopter ride. And I'm up in Tucson somewhere. I don't even know. And uh, and I there, like, ten doctors around me. They're wheeling me out of the helicopter on a gurney or whatever the fuck. And I don't know what's going on. I'm in and out of it, in and out of it. And I woke up for a minute, and I looked at the uh, one of the doctors. And I'm on my back just like this without the bees. And I looked at one of the doctors, and I said, seems like a lot of trouble for a vasectomy. <laughs> and he said, shut up. And I passed back off. <laughs> and I woke up a day later with all the nurses giggling around me. He's like, you actually said that. <laughs> So I guess I'll have to be dead before I lose my sense of humor. Yep, you will. Thank God, because that's all we have. Mm -hmm. You ain't got a sense of humor. You better live in uh, somewhere else than my than more on me. We don't like work. Oh! Right fucking shoulder. How much better drill can one man take? The more I start seeing squirrels where there aren't squirrels. Answer, my friend, is under this fucking stock tank. Yep, it goes further back. Oh, God.
good. Well, I'll get a little bit of honey out of the deal. <clears throat> Let's see if I can just crawl in there. What do you say? It. There's no way for us to do that, right? No, there isn't, by the way. Ouch! Oh, shit. Could you rinse my hand? Yep. Oh, you're doing it yourself. Well, I had to get on. Of course I mean, you. yeah, there was no choice. Of course you are. There was no choice, my love. Yeah, I know. So that I could sneak my hand in, but it hopefully not. A lot easier. Right here. Yeah. Right where my finger is. Right. Can you see Did anything? You... Well, that was refreshing. Yeah, because when a 100 degree breeze is refreshing, you know you're gonna Stepping over cow shit. Be defeated enough because they're balling up, right? Yep, it's working. The tournament's got this wrapped up. Thank God, what a nasty bunch of little bastards. So, because there's a valve in there, we put a wall of expanding foam about six inches all across that whole opening and up here above it and on the side so it's impenetrable so noon one can get back in. And that puts a door up and it sealed it. So, this should be good for a long, long time ever hopefully and uh there's it's like the over it's like the rancher said if you're able to do this on the first round it's a miracle if i could cross my fingers i would i uh i think we did it i mean this was pretty straightforward one major entrance all the way around meaner yeah so i'm guessing the cows will come back over here within a couple days water all they want get everything unwrapped so uh yeah we're gonna go call the ranchers yay we did it yay oh, so i got stuff i don't even know how many times 20 maybe yeah too many yeah too many That's right yeah so we're driving on the road with the bee suit zombie suit oh this fucking job made me realize again that uh because i often say well you know you're not going to die not so much. Yeah, this is, you could die at any moment. I mean, these fuckers are gonna chase us for miles, I can tell. Is that a rock there? Yeah. Yep, that's a big rock. Here we go. Bye, bye. You're welcome. Oh, you said big rock. <laughs> okay, this is people, I mean, this is ridiculous. One job, look at this steering wheel. I know. And well, the shifter, I'm... and the, everything. A little bit of cleanup, huh? A little bit. Okay, we got this. <laughs> the flaming stupid man. Take me to your bees. I brought my own stinger. <laughs> I'm good. Where are you putting the corner? <laughs> yeah, hot bear back. Okay, I'm gonna ride the bolt. Bolt. I don't know what they're talking about.